so as we head inside, I'll tell you a little bit about the house. It's a four bedroom colonial, well over 2,000 square feet. Uh, very classic uh, colonial for West Hartford. You've got your solid oak hardwood floors, uh, four bedrooms, two and a half bath. We've got our uh, classic formal living room here. We'll go into the formal dining room. And a couple unique things about this house. Um, we'll get to the kitchen later, but um, not only does it have the formal dining room, uh, but it also has two finished rooms in the back, uh, sort of your family room or your great room. Uh, we have this first one here, which is a fully finished room here. And then we have another fully finished or a three season porch, uh, depending how you want to classify it. But you can see it's, uh, you know, we're using it all year round. Um, and so we have two extra bonus rooms in addition to the formal dining room and formal living room. Uh, we come in here um, off to the little mud area where we've got our laundry room, our half bath. Now we go on to the kitchen, a pretty spacious kitchen with a really nice um, dark cabinets and stainless steel appliances. Uh, as you can see, there's a gas stove. It is gas, heat, and hot water and there is also a central air in the home, as well as your one car attached garage. So it really has it all. Um, not every house near the center, um, if you're not familiar with the center of town, has, the, um, has an attached garage. Another great feature of the house is the backyard. Um, again, for those not familiar with West Hartford Center, uh, being this close, typically does not have a yard of this size. So it's a really nice size yard. You've got this um, porch or deck out here. Um, you've got a nice uh, little paved, paver section with your uh, shed for all your uh, snow and, and lawn equipment. And then a really nice level backyard. It's a little damp today because we just had rain and snow in the last couple days. Uh, but as you can see, a very well appointed, um, nice size yard. Okay, so now we'll head upstairs to the bedrooms. Uh, pretty much brand new carpeting here. Um, there is car hardwood under the, uh, under the carpet, uh, but obviously for rental purposes, you're probably gonna leave the carpet here. Uh, but it is brand new plush carpet. Here's one bedroom here. We have a second bedroom here, and these are not the masters. These are, um, you know, larger bedrooms, secondary bedrooms. Um, you can see we have those two there. Uh, we do have our um, guests full bath or the ch children's full bath in the hallway. And this is the former master bedroom, so you'll see how big this room is. Um, the additional porch and the master bath bedroom were added later, so you do have quite a large third bedroom here. Um, with tons of closet space. Um, you can see here. Um, you know, nice double wide closet and there's another additional one over here. And now we go to the master bedroom, which again is an addition that's really well done. You can see it's got the vaulted ceilings and opens up to a large master bedroom. Tons of light, um, several closets as well. And also a master bathroom, of course. The nice wood beams across. so. You know, very cool addition. There's something you don't see every day. You got the bidet and the towel warmer. Heated towel rack. You've got a nice uh, stand-up shower there. So probably one of the best features of the house and, and not something you see every day on, a, on an older colonial uh, in this part of town. Finally, we'll take a quick look at the basement. Um, you know, if the, if the upstairs space is not quite enough, you do have a little finished area, little rec room area here. All this stuff will be gone, of course, uh, prior to anyone moving in. And you've got your mechanicals. Um, and not the, uh, not the most exciting part of the house, but you can see it's a you know, natural gas. You've got full 200 amp electric, and you've got a, um, you know, uh, a gas furnace and a little extra storage back here. Um, you've got your, um, this is where the laundry used to be. Certainly you could put the laundry back down here if you wanted to, um, but you've got your little slop sink and you've got the rest of the unfinished area.